Hi guys and welcome to my channel Tower Lumière. I do injector cards readings by zodiac sign and this reading is for Libra for the weeks of May the 2nd through the 15th. So Libra, what do you need to focus on for the next couple of weeks? Okay, so we have family, yoga, leadership, family, spend time with your family, okay, enjoy your family life, Libra, and then we have yoga, yeah, you need to recenter yourself to balance all these beautiful chakras, um, which are, um, you know, portals for energy. Everything needs to run smoothly. The light needs to come down really smoothly. And yoga really helps with that. Helps you clear up your mind, see clearly. And it probably has to do with what's going to happen. We'll see in a couple of minutes. Um... Yes. Do some uh, okay. So it's this is yoga, but it's also stretching, exercising. You know, sport really helps with that too. And then we have leadership. Take charge of the situation. Maybe you've been a little bit too laid back lately, and you really need to grab on the reins um, and just be. A litter, at least for yourself. Then let's look at what's going to happen. For the next couple of weeks for you. Okay, resources. Oh, okay. Michael. Michael wants to speak up. All right, so let's look at this one first. <sighs> Sorry for, about the light. Uh, it's pretty dark, but okay. I don't know if you can still see. So this card talks about um, receiving and giving resources with a grateful heart. It could be so material needs or, you know, all the kind of resources or just services you render and you receive, you know, this is an energy, um, when you receive something, you need to give back. This energy needs to flow. When you receive something, it's not for you to keep. It's for you to give to the person who gave to you or to give to someone else. And then you have the end of a difficult situation. Oh, that is interesting. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. I was talking about flowing. Oh, yes. And remember, when I was talking about yoga, I mean, the energy needs to flow, comes down, come down. And here we have water, pouring water. There is the flowing of something. Yeah. The end, yeah, the end of a difficult situation. That is good. And, uh, yeah, this is the end of a difficult situation. And Michael says, yes, it is. And what, um, and this situation doesn't serve you anymore. Or doesn't serve you at all. Um, you need to release your attachment to the outcome. 
consider taking a more uplifting approach. All right. See, there's also water here. Get rid of what doesn't serve you. In order to move to a better, um, a better place. Within yourself or, you know, physically. And release your worries. Your worries are unnecessary. Uh, it's always the case, all right? You need to release the guilt, the regrets, the worries to your angels, to whatever you want, whoever, whomever you want. But the angels and the, the universe is pure light, pure energy, and they can take it, okay? So, we cannot take all that burden, but they can, because they can transcend it. We are not pure light. We have the ego. And that's why we struggle with all these different um, negative uh, emotions. So if you um, do have, uh, do feel like that, just give it away. Ask your angels, ask the universe to take it away from you. All right. You need to do a lot of releasing. That's why we have yoga here. Okay. It always makes sense. There's always a reason why we have that kind of focus. Oh, that one. Again. Well, this is the third time that I'm drawing this card, I believe. That card talks about traveling, but yeah... Moving on to new project. Okay, so we have two. I'm taking these two. So. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. May, uh, you may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Oh, some traveling for you, some uh, relocating, perhaps. And then you have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can't solve. The compassion you f so freely give to others must also be given to, uh, to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. <laughs> Look at this little picture. See, the little girl is saying no to the cat. No, no, no. So, and then we have, open your heart, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Okay. So a lot of emotions here. Um, do we have something else? Yeah, listen to your heart. All right. Well, it looks like a beautiful reading, uh, Libra. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep watching your videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And until then, I wish you a wonderful and beautiful week. And I talk to you next time. Bye-bye.